You're listening to the Daily Nugget. It's dnugget.com for October 7th, 2024, filmed before a live studio audience. Sort of. Woo! It is filmed. It is before a live studio audience because we have Janelle's daughter with us. Yes. Yay! Welcome. Yay! All the way Thank from you. Florida. She traveled. Wow. Yeah, live. traveled a long way to get here. Does she know that Zoom exists in Florida? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That would have been so much easier. <laughs> it's okay. We're glad you're here, Lindsay. See, this well, is why we don't you. have any listeners, because I make fun of every single one that ever comes on the show. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> totally. Recognizing you know it is the first step, Andy. That's good. That's good. I have a problem. I, I, I recognize the problem. Now, is the, okay. qu- the question is, am I willing to fix the problem? Only you can answer uh, that. All signs point to no. No. <laughs> right. I'm fix, with Sam on that one. You can't fix stupid. Okay, so Food Monday. <laughs> here we are. You said that. <laughs> so by, by myself. Uh, Janelle usually uh, is is really an important expert for Food Monday. So, Lindsay, you're going to also have to help out with this. And usually, okay. um, before this episode started recording, Janelle, you, you made a very strong stand that I feel like you should share with the entire Daily Nugget family. Are you sure you want yeah, me to please. make this bold claim? Yes. Okay, well, it's a boundary. Name, name okay. it and claim it. Name it and claim it, Janelle. In honor of healthy boundaries, then okay. I have determined that I am not going to be your retriever for any more food products. If I have it on my shelf, I'm going to say, I'm going to fib and say, no, I don't have it, and then just laugh about it later. <laughs> Not really lie. I'm just not going <laughs> to unveil the truth. Liars, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to unveil the truth. That's what I'm going to say. No food here. No food here. <laughs> uh, but I was pretty sure it wasn't. It wasn't one of our favorite episodes last week. The one where Janelle tried to pronounce ingredients from the back of that the box. That was great. That was great. <laughs> that was great. I just powered right through those words. <laughs> you, did. you did. It was very impressive, actually. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I, well, I this one. This one yeah. should not have any unusual ingredients. It's a, sure? one it's one simple thing that a doctor says this popular food can ease annoying motion sickness. Broccoli. <laughs> yeah, is it broccoli? We know Janelle has broccoli. Potatoes? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure broccoli would cause motion sickness because every time I cook it, my wife gets sick to her stomach, the smell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because you overcook it, Andy. <laughs> that's the that's that's the the problem. Anyway. <laughs> The, well, I, I like mine crispy, a little charred, oh. in the air fryer. Oh, well, mm. you burn. burn it. Yeah. Crispy. That's charred, not crispy. Yeah. <laughs> charred. That's yeah. burnt. Okay. In normal human okay. language. Does burnt. the woman who microwaves her broccoli. Nobody wants to eat blackened great. broccoli. That's just, that's only for me. I, I actually, I'm with Andy on this one. Oh. Thank no. you. A little you, olive Sam. oil, a little garlic. It's so typical you boys would stick together and you don't even know what you're talking about, but go ahead. Okay. What, what is what this is, is a fight thing. for another day, guys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so you so we said Back you, you the guessed, vegetarian train up here. Yes, yes, yes. Now we need some air. You guess well. broccoli, you guess potato. No, it's yeah. not either of those. Okay. So Dr. Karan Raj, he is a TikTok doctor. No oh, man, uh, what, what kind of credibility is that? <laughs> well, uh, when you go, Janelle, when you go no, to six years zero. of TikTok, you then that's you get free, your TikTok actually, doctor degree. Up, <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing. He probably got his degree uh, in positions on the internet. Janelle, I wouldn't be so quick to say there isn't such a thing. Okay. This is going to get us another strike on YouTube for no. misinformation. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, I don't think because so. I mean in this world, you know, you see all those dumb uh the those colleges that do classes on Taylor Swift. You better mm-hmm. believe there's some sort of university that's all about just learning how to do dumb things on TikTok. You're probably right about that. Unfortunately. Well, yeah. I guess we're gonna agree to agree then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Back to the food. What is it? <laughs> okay. So Dr. Karan Raj on TikTok says, next time you go on a road trip, bring a lemon. Okay. Oh. Four. Okay. So what you do is you, sm- you smell the lemon. 
The olfactory system in your nose picks up citrusy aromas, and it's closely related to the limbic system, which regulates nausea. So inhaling mm. that lemon scent stimulates the limbic system to help relieve nausea. And nausea, this is nausea. where essential oils started. Yeah. Because who has just a lemon in their pocket? And a cat yeah. and a knife. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, I have a knife in my pocket most of the time. Oh, okay. Janelle, do you have a do you have an eleven in your in your uh, kitchen? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> we'll never know anymore. Nope. L- Lindsay, is she telling the truth or what? is she fibbing? Oh, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, Lindsay. I gotta Tore stay here. <laughs> do you know what's behind the curtain in the room behind you? No. Oh. I just appeared in here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys not know? We might have to open the door. It's getting kind of hot in here. We, yeah. we keep we keep asking Janelle to show us what's behind the curtain, and she refuses. <laughs> well, maybe we we now have someone on the inside. We may have to investigate deeper. Okay, I do want to know. I have this question: okay. How did they determine that lemon relieves nausea more so than peppermint? Or ginger. Well, they said yeah, it was it was idea, citrus. Probably. It was citrus. What about a lime? Yeah. Well, I suppose grapefruit. any grapefruit. sort of citrus, right? Grapefruit, yeah. mm-hmm. grapefruit, orange. Yes, orange. Dragon fruit. I don't know. Let's name citrus, them all. I don't, I don't think, that's think that's citrus. Citrus. <laughs> uh, what else is citrus? Persimmons. Hmm. Uh, the thing that looks like a tomato. Kumquats. Nectarine. Lentils. Lentils? Uh, that's not a no. Broccoli. That's not citrus. No. I do like Winkies. smelling them, but no. No, it's not. It's not the same. Olfactory bulb. Let's see, this kind of freaks me out. Do you ever look at uh, diagrams like this and you you think I'm freaked out that this thing exists somewhere in my head? <laughs> look at that well, thing. Is, well, I mean, it is cool. Right? Oh, the limbic system. Oh yeah. The old the olfactory bulb. Yeah, I don't know much about that. Well, no. it's because you're not a TikTok doctor, Jan. I, I, evidently, <laughs> I need to go back to school to get my degree. Yeah, go to go to TikTok. If you can't afford TikTok University, you can also go to TikTok Tech. It's kind of like it's more of a community college, so that can help you out too. So good one, let's Andy. See here. Good one. Okay, so here is here. Speaking of TikTok. Here is another person, another influencer. This happened last fall. This trend's been going on for a, a year now, apparently. And here we are. Just uh, this out is about an it. influencer that decided to do it. She said her name is Darcy McQueenie. <laughs> she was sniffing a lemon and proclaimed, literally, mm-hmm. never riding the train without a lemon again. So here you go. Here's the TikTok doctor, oh. the TikToker, if you will. There <laughs> yeah, she is. Boy. Oh well, she didn't even cut it open. Yeah. No, she didn't. So you don't need the knife. No knife needed. Unmute. I know. No, no. It's every time I unmute. Every time you unmute, I have to do extra work. It swears. (laughs) It's okay. No, we're not going to swear. We're just going to try to read as we could. I guess we could read what he's saying on the. Why would the doctor swear? I don't know. It's a TikToker. I mean, he's. (laughs) Jesus, you need to come back. I think we're done. (laughs) I think we're ready. It's time. We're done. Okay. She is really speaking, getting into speaking that. Speaking of one. weird scents, I was at Target the other day. Oh boy. And I saw dude wipes. You know mm-hmm. what dude wipes, right? Yes. They're flush, they're flushable hiney wipes. Mm-hmm. And there was they were on the end cap, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, why are they in an orange packaging? Mm-hmm. They are pumpkin spiced. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Dude wipes. Dad just and, told me about these today. And, and I thought to myself, what a terrible time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's your catchphrase, huh? <laughs> and why do they have to be gender specific? I mean, I thought it was like a they were They were originally marketed towards men mm-hmm. uh, because of uh, things like Taco There's Bell. Incredible stinkiness. Uh, yes. Men smell bad. I don't know if you know this. It was the PSL for... Everywhere is the PSL marketed <laughs> towards the men, or is it trying to bridge the gap? I well, with pumpkin spice, I would assume they're trying to bridge that gap. Mm. Or, or there's, there's it's, more and more men that like it. 
or or they're just trying to get the women in our lives to buy it right for, for you us. yeah I'm so curious. it's not necessarily for female like use it's just really like mm. let's what? ask let's ask okay would uh jen would no. steven like it would he like it no no okay. <laughs> i'd probably buy him the original if i thought he needed it but i feel like he's an adult and he could handle that too <laughs> okay what about billy would he like it I don't think he'd go for it. But if it was a Christmas tree scent, he might. Oh. You know, pine kind of scent? Pine right now. Like a pine? Oh, yeah. I like love a good, pine scents. Yeah, like a yeah. manly like a manly pine. Like so if you could make... Keep our eye out. If you mm. could make my honey smell like a pine tree. Or... <laughs> That's uh, as dude as it gets. Like a bear. A bear uh, rubbing uh, up against, against a tree. To feel <laughs> like <laughs> I've wiped with a pine, like a, a you know, like a really prickly oh, stick. Okay. Like that feels manly. This is not Food Monday anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we have taken I'm going to need that yeah. lemon real fast. You're going to need some like lemon. Like always. After that, buddy. It's diverted spice. right off the topic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the nugget. Nuggethatemail at gmail.com. Tell us um, if you work for Dude Wipes, if you'd like to sponsor this podcast, we'll take it. And I feel like, uh, Jen, we need to see if little buddy, how little buddy reacts to dude wipes. He is a dude. He's a little dude. Yeah, true. And you, you have to wipe to him, rash? right? You wipe him, correct? Yeah. So well, what's yeah. the difference correct. between a baby wipe correct, and a dude prosecutor. wipe? Well, the difference actually, Andy, <laughs> is the dude wipes are flushable. Oh, well, well, we're not to that stage yet. I don't think any wipes are really supposed to be. Flushed. No, I, I don't think, so, think yeah. I would trust I that. that yeah, I, I wouldn't trust it. No. We need to do. We no. need to do a. We need to do a show on that too, because I keep seeing they. They keep showing pictures. We'll find some nasty pictures. Yeah, oh. of well, flushable wipes. Oh, yes. I don't. I don't want to see that. Are we sure we want to go there, Andy? Because yeah. also, that's we're sinking talking to about... a new low. <laughs> Literally, that's that's we're going to the sewers. <laughs> Boy, how do you spell Heine? Why? I'm not. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> Andy's got a I'm Google just face. I'm trying to come up with the title for this week for this episode. I mean, pumpkin it's spice for your hiney. Dude wipes. It's just H I N E Y. Gender yeah. specific. Like, dude, you need this. It's like the <laughs> man version of that Lumi stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you could never buy that? that. You couldn't buy that as a gift. I'd be sending a message. It would oh, be you offensive. We could give it as a gift. Yeah, I would, I would take it. I used to laugh. My brother uh, swears by them, and I'm like, I don't. Has he but, tried? No, recently I've thought about it. I've been thinking about it. But you've oh, got the Andy's bidet interested. at home, though, Andy. I used to. I may need to make a. Oh bidet. no, you don't have one in the new house, do you? No. You the, when COVID one. hit, I took the hit for my family, and I started using a bidet to <gasps> conserve toilet paper. Another bidet. <laughs> There's a lot of things in that oh, sentence. Hold, that on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Janelle just whispered something to Lindsay, and Lindsay said, shh. Which <laughs> means, on the Daily Nugget, you don't Uh-oh. have to do that without explaining yourself. Uh oh. Mm. I didn't say anything. <laughs> There's no lemons in her kitchen. That's what she said. That's it. <laughs> it's all you need to know. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it smells clean. And it is the kitchen. That, yeah, yeah, that's all we need to know about the lemons. Janelle, go get your bidet. No, <laughs> go, get go get it. That's what's behind the curtain. No, oh. no can do. I'm sorry. Don't don't have that. Yeah. Tragically. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know, right? Mm-hmm. I fear. I hear. I'm really missing out. Um, Andy, you have experience though with the bidet. Maybe you should expound about bidet. that. <laughs> oh, I have experiences. Bidet. Nuggethatemail uh, at gmail.com. Let us know what you want your honey to smell like. When, okay. when you get when you get the cheap one that's not heated, you mm-hmm. have about five seconds of lukewarm water before the cold stuff hits. Oh, yeah. And that oh. is like ah! You know, you know when you turn on the, the, the shower and it's cold and you're in it and then you just like it, it's the worst thing ever. It's like that, but no, for you other parts of your body. It. Yeah, you wait to get in it to you yeah. turn the shower on out of the shower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Or, well, you know, sometimes if you run out of hot water and it gets cold all of a sudden, maybe that's a better analogy. Yeah. We run right. out of hot water all the time in my house because of the people I live with. Mm. <laughs> you mean the three people who take showers for an hour at your house? Yes. I'm and sad for you. Four, 
and and the fourth that takes that always takes a bath every night. So there's no hot water mm. in my house. No mm. hot water. Just got to be first. Yeah, wonder he I, I shower no, no, first the thing cold in the morning. Water I take a 30 minute shower. Hmm? The cold water is great. It's great for your skin and for your hair. No, whoa, whoa. You you do cold water showers. This is a topic for another day. All right, put it put it on the list. That's insane. I can't I can't do it. We're talking I'm about trying. PSL dude white. I don't, yeah. I don't. And what I'm saying is insane.